So in this case, I have the information of sales managers. I have their sales and I have their target. And I want to know the percentage of the reach target. So what you would do is you would type in here the equal sign and you would make a simple division of um, the sales divided by the target. And that will give you in this example a 98%. So if I copy this formula to all the other sales managers, then I'm gonna have all the percentages except on this one. In this case, Will Ferrell is showing me an error because he doesn't have a target or it's equal to zero. So Excel is gonna tell me that the division by zero is not defined and that's why it gives me these errors in here. So I want to avoid these things in my data set and I'm gonna start using the if error formula. So what I want to do, I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna erase this formula and I'm gonna start by typing if error, okay? And then I'm gonna open the parentheses and I'm gonna type the same division that I had earlier, sales divided by the target. So if this division gives me an error like in Will Ferrell, I want the reach target to become 100% or one. And I'm gonna close the parentheses, okay? And I'm gonna hit enter. And this didn't change for Mark Wahlberg, but let's see what happens when I copy this to all the other sales managers. So I'm gonna hit control C and then control V to paste the new formula. And then you can see that Will Ferrell now shows me a hundred percent. So he reached the target. Because in this case, he didn't have a, a target. Let's assume that, it, that he was a new sales manager and they forgot to assign him a target. So he might get the hundred percent of his bonus. So that's how you use the if error formula. Okay guys, I hope that video was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more tutorials and videos for you. Thanks again, see you next time.